Welcome back one and all to Fire Emblem Three Houses. I am the Dark Seraph. Last time, we reclaimed a fortress from a very difficult fight, defeated Hubert, and Hammer and ran like a little bitch. Don't know why. But he did. I got a question. Okay. It's prejudice towards the unknown. Nothing more. You're probably right. Uh, okay. It has been a while since we last spoke, Professor. Spare me a moment again, will you not? Sure. You recall how you helped me and allowed me to join your class, yes? I have learned a great many things since then. Indeed, I have truly grown so much. This personal growth is due in large part to you. And I wish to express my gratitude, sincerely. I'm not sure you've grown that much. Excuse me? Are you implying that I am still naive? Yes. I will have you know that I have made many friends and am constantly learning new things. It doesn't mean you're not naive. Why, when I go to the market, alone, I even haggle. You must be familiar with the delicate art of haggling, in which one negotiates a lower asking price for an item. Oh, that you're sassy. Knowledge common only to those as mature as myself. Sure. How old are you again? Who? Me? Um, have you not asked this once before? It is a bit rude to ask repeatedly, you know. You never told me. Is that so? Well, it seems we have something in common. Since I do not know your age, I... Come now. There is nothing to be gained from focusing so heavily on age. I'm 24. Touching on a previous discussion, I think I have learned more about you. I mentioned how you possess an air of mystery. I compared you to any old sea, but I have come to realize you are more like a particular sea, one I have seen before. When I was quite small, my mother would take me out to play in the sea. She was an excellent fisher, my mother. I grew to love fish deeply because of her. Where are you going with this? Well, you see, fish are... Oh, er, wait. I was talking about the sea, was I not? Yes. I, I sense that, like the sea, your depths are seemingly impenetrable. Yet, despite your unknowable depths, there is something familiar about you. It's as if we have met somewhere, long, long ago. You think we've met before? No, I do not think so. It is all quite strange, really. Still, I do not think you could be a complete stranger either. Both your hair and eyes are unmistakably... Hmm? Oh, apologies. Just muttering to myself. It is nothing. Mutterings aside, I mean to say that you do not feel like a stranger to me. For whatever reason, I feel deeply connected to you. And for this, I am glad. Okay. It'll be fun. This will go. How do you like? Excellent work. Gonna rest. 
and that's why. I'm going to do manual instruction this time. Hidden skill with the lance. That's so weird, but sure. I didn't mean to do that twice. Damn it. It's weird to see you have a hidden talent for magic, but you don't have a good magic stat. None of that matters. What? I. Get it together. Okay, you can stop it. Okay, you prefer a critique. I learned a lot. Yes, that is this what's <laughs> Skills, talents, no. Looks like it. Ah. That was. Where do you see you have a knack for magic? This could be you. This. You might be a mortal savant yet. Here is the result. I understand more every... This experience is critical. Want to boot up? You want to load? It went well. There is always more to learn. Now is the time I'm going to take to explore. Let's do some repair work. Damn. 
Umbra Steel. Damn. Crusher's still in good shape. Is this it? There you go. Don't have enough of that steel. Come back anytime. What do you require? I kind of like the sound of that. The Blue Lion Knights. There we go. Do you want to hire this battalion? We'll protect you. Do you want to hire this? We'll do everything. to hire this battalion? Do you want to hire the protect? Mercedes and Annette are here. They're right there, in fact. Speaking of which, I went to Pius, but after it was liberated, he started courting the kingdom instead. That's despicable. Absolutely. No matter what. Advanced drills, magic, and faith needs a little work. I'll use this power for Dare Drew in Fark so when the wars are Dudu and Mercedes, okay. Ah, I think I get it. So the Sky God got into an argument with the Earth God, then Dusker was created? To oversimplify it somewhat, yes. <laughs> There's something so mysterious about it. There are only mountains separating us from Dusker, but it's like a completely different world. This has been so interesting. I've never learned so much about it before. There are not many left to pass on the legends of Dusker. Really? That's a shame. It's almost like when someone dies, or a family line ends. I think a place is only truly destroyed when there's no one left to remember it. You should tell more people about Dusker to keep it alive. That is a strange thing to say. Oh? Why do you think that? Dusker is forever the enemy of Fargus. No one cares about our culture or history. I'm different, though. I don't know anyone who was killed. That's by the not necessarily true. I don't hold a grudge against Just because 
There's a culture that's traditionally an enemy of a nation doesn't mean uh, people don't you? take interest Is this in it. From or not necessarily the people or the you don't care for it. culture. No. Uh, how can I put this? I was actually uh, how can surprised I put this? by how much I enjoyed it. Just because countries are enemies doesn't mean the people don't take an interest in each other's cultures. That's how I'm trying to put it. Would you teach me how to make it soon? But it seems I am ever the teacher with you, and seldom the student. You're right. I'm so sorry. Oh, I have an idea. My mother taught me to bake the perfect sweets to go with tea. Would you like to learn how to bake them? It's a secret Martreats family recipe that's been passed down for generations. House Martreats of the Empire? I thought they were no more. It's true. My father's family was wiped out in the Empire. I'm the last living descendant. Are you certain you wish to impart such precious memories to me? Of course. Now that my family's gone, I'm the only one who knows the secret. The sweets would vanish from Fodlin if something happened to me. I see your point. You are precious. Yes. I would like to learn. I love this girl. She is just so sweet and precious. The world needs more people like her. Da do and da 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 da. Gilbert. Okay. Ah, hello. Da do, yes? Finished praying? I am, yes. You have grown much since I saw you last. You're a man now. You barely know me. True. True. I suppose we did only meet a handful of times. As haggard as you look now, you were even worse when I last saw you in the capital. Haggard, eh? True enough. Still weighed down by the same regret, I see. I was unable to protect the king. That is the ultimate failure. One I must atone for. If you have the spare time to beg forgiveness, then pick up a lance and train. That would do nothing to atone for the dead. Your prayers are mere self-indulgence. You do not understand. Uh... No, I do not. Fargus needed you. His Highness needed you. There was no other choice but for me to leave. What would you have done if you were in my place? If His Highness had died due to your failures? Yes. If he commanded me to live, then I would live. Otherwise, I would die with him. I have nothing left to lose other than His Highness. Home, family, all but that man I have already lost. You were a knight in service to the king for decades. Not only did you excel in bravery, wisdom, and tactics, but in matters of character, you were an ideal knight, utterly above reproach. That is what His Highness has always said. I have only come this far by modeling my conduct after his stories of you. But now... Forget those words spoken by His Highness. I am no different a man than I was before. Beaten down by sin. Alone and weak. I am lost and irredeemable. <laughs> Interesting. Felix and Ingrid. A class support. Why are you taking over my cleaning responsibilities? You're wounded and you're going too slowly. I couldn't stand to watch. You're still fretting over me, are you? I'm fine now, really. It wasn't even serious. I could have handled the situation alone. That enemy wasn't much of a threat. Yes, yes, we all know you could have. But I also didn't want to risk something unforeseen befalling you. I've been doing some thinking. I feel a bit lost. I don't know that I'm cut out to be a knight after all. Without fulfilling that dream, without being a knight, I've been asking myself where my place is in the world. Your stats could certainly be better. And I think... I think I've found my answer. I don't want to lose anyone anymore. So I want to protect those I hold dear. 
That's why you're protecting me, huh? What a fool you are. Foolish to act in line with what I value most? Were I to die, I would die knowing I followed my heart. My oh, true father's calm. home from work. I've been Hour early. I got to I was telling you about. check that and just recall second. the hypothetical question it posed. Do you carry out the orders or protect your hometown? You've been reading that garbage again. The book never specified that one should prioritize the commander's orders. Instead, it suggested that one should follow their heart in the matter. That's what a knight, that's what anyone being true to themselves should do. That's just the editor's opinion. Of course. And I find value in that opinion. Glenn died following his heart. Not heeding the commands of the country or even the royal family. His death pains me to this day. It was a tragedy. But had he survived, I think he would have suffered. I will follow his example. No matter the outcome. No matter the circumstance. I believe in myself. <laughs> you know nothing. What is it that you know then? What is it you fight for, Felix? My own beliefs. I see no difference from my own stance. You don't understand. You fight to be stronger than everyone. That you might protect those you care for. Correct? Okay, fine. You do understand. <laughs> My point is, don't let this happen again. If you died, I'd be... annoyed. To avoid annoyance, then, I suggest you continue to grow stronger. If that happens, I might allow you to protect me, too. <sighs> You're insufferable. Underneath all that angst, Felix, you are a good person. I'll be right back. Uh, give me one minute. Sorry for that cut. I got, I got a question to ask. Is it natural to want to knock someone in the head just anytime they speak? It's like the deacon at my church. It's like I just cannot stand him for some reason. There's no reason for me to dislike him, but just every time he speaks, I just want to knock the living hell out of him. I just want to punch him right square in the head. Guy's a prick. There's this arrogance surrounding him every time he speaks. Like, there's no reason for me to dislike for him to feel this way, but I just don't like him. The priest I quite like, though. He's friendly, approachable, sarcastic. He's the kind of guy you'd share a beer with. The deacon's the kind of guy you would hit with the beer bottle. <laughs> okay, on with Training the Training on your own? You really do work hard. I hate to break it to you, Sylvain, but there's nobody here for you to flirt with. So there's not much reason to hang around. You're here, aren't you? How ridiculous. Almost as ridiculous as your face. You'd really say something like that to a handsome guy like me? Wow. I'm crushed. Joking aside. That line of dialogue you, isn't I only that came great. Out here so I could train too. Sure. Just don't get in my way. I've been thinking about it, and I really depend on you. Maybe that's weird since I'm older than you, but still. Hitting on me? Again? Have some dignity, would you? No, I'm being honest. I thought you'd listen. Hey, I'd like it if you didn't get too far away from me on the battlefield, okay? Just stay where I can see you. I'll stay as long as I can. You're useless without me, after all. What? No, I'm saying if there's one thing I can do on the battlefield, it's keep you safe. Whatever helps you feel better. Stay and protect me, then. I couldn't bear it if you went off and died on me while I wasn't around. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's my line. Seriously, you... I'm safe to break it to you, it's Ingrid, late. but you we don't have the out. best of stats. You're I right. like you. I'm exhausted anyway. You're confident, you haven't been wise, enough. noble, beautiful, you but you're just not a very good unit. Training. You're I'll extremely you situational. So just, hmm? What's that strange look for? I just, oh, well, you're going to think I'm being a jerk or hitting on you or whatever. When we're side by side like this, training, I feel, I don't know, oddly at ease. I know what you mean. 
It's probably because we've been friends for so long. That must be it. Let's never change. Friends forever? <laughs> Absolutely. No matter what happens, we'll always be friends, Sylvain. That was a nice conversation. Ash and Mercedes and Annette. Okay. Excuse me, Ash. Do you have a moment? I finally managed to finish cooking a dish, and I would love for you to have a taste. Sounds good. I'd be happy to. I want you to be a bow knight, Ash, so you need to get better with the lance wow, Mercedes. and writing. This is delicious. I used that herb you suggested. Boiling it gave off such a lovely aroma. I think I used the right amount of spice, too. Even I could eat it without burning my tongue. I'm a much better cook now, thanks to you. I hope you can continue teaching me. Oh, definitely. I should thank you, too. Thank me? Even after all the trouble I've caused you? Seeing you persevere has made me really happy. In fact, you've reminded me of someone I cared about a lot. Oh, someone you cared about? Romantically? This is all so sudden, Ash. I, I don't... Uh, I, I didn't mean it that way. I was actually thinking about my brother. <sighs> what a relief. I didn't even know you had a brother. He was the son of Lenato, my adoptive father. I always called him my brother, though. Failure never got to him. All he'd ever do is laugh and try again. Whenever I was feeling down about a setback, he would cheer me up. He'd say something like, Don't worry, we'll tackle it together next time. I was always happy to have him around. He sounds like a wonderful person. He was. And I get the same feeling from you. I've done nothing but bother you with frivolous little things. I'm sure I could never be like your brother. But I'd like to stay by your side, if you'll have me. What do you mean? I want to be there to help you in times of need, or to cheer you up when you're feeling down. I should be able to manage that without doing too much damage. I'm glad to hear you say that. Thank you, Mercedes. I know I can rely on you. That was a nice conversation. They're a friendly sort. Now for Ash and Annette. The best duo. Almost forgot how spooky this place is. Oh, he's I gonna go looking for do her doll. No, I've got to. What use am I to anyone if I can't even handle an empty tower? Here goes. doll from my father must be in this tower, but I'm too scared to go looking for it. Annette! Ash, what are you doing here? Oh, here, I got this for you. My doll! You went back for it? But why? Your father gave it to you. I know you said you'd throw it away. But you can't just toss out something so important. Ash... Thank you. I'm so happy. To be honest, I didn't have the courage to go back in there to get it myself. But thanks to you, I didn't have to. And you're afraid of ghosts, right? Were you okay in there all by yourself? Well, uh, not really. I tried my best not to think about it. My legs shook whenever I did. I'm sorry if you heard a vulgar comment across the room. My father's home and he's watching a football game. At least I'm pretty sure it's a football game. Regardless, it's a ball game and... Yeah. Oh, poor Ash. You're safe now, I promise. Knock it off, would you? I'm okay now. But I'm glad <sighs> I could help you and see a smile on your face. Look at me, though. <laughs> a grown man, scared of ghosts. Pathetic, right? I don't think so. No, I don't think that at all. I think you're something special, Ash. You were really brave, and all for me. That wasn't an easy thing to do. I'm in awe of you. 
Thanks. Maybe there is still hope for me as a knight. Yes, I'll gladly attest to that. I'm sure you'll be a splendid knight. Maybe you'll even outdo my father. Well, that's a frightening thought, comparing me to someone like Gilbert. But it's a happy one, too. It makes me want to work that much harder. Ship it! Because that is such a nice conversation. Ash and Gilbert. Is something the matter? Your heart does not seem to be in your training today. I'm sorry. Something's been bothering me. Idle thoughts do hinder training. Tell me what bothers you. You were sworn to protect the royal family. But when we met five years ago, you weren't in the kingdom capital. You were in Garrig Mach. What could have made a great knight like you abandon his vow? That is difficult to explain. You are aware of the tragedy of Dusker? When the King's party was massacred nine years ago. I am. It affected me too. My brother was suspected of being involved in the attack. And so the church... I... Yeah. Anyway, it was the stepmother. As we saw a couple episodes back. Yeah. Forgive me. That must be a difficult memory. Why are you apologizing? It's not your fault. I disagree. Had I been by His Majesty's side on that day where I was sworn to be, perhaps His Majesty would not have lost his life. It all would be different. Is that why you left Fargus? Yes. You may laugh, but I feel I was responsible for everything. I would never laugh at something like that. But I, I do think you should have seen things through to the end. Even if you had to endure dishonor for a while, you could have restored your name. Uh, I'm sorry. That was inconsiderate of me. I got carried away by how much your situation resembles my own. You were adopted by Lord Lonato, correct? I once told you that I wish to protect one thing other than my king. And that is my family. My wife and my daughter, both of whom I left behind in the kingdom. Lord Lonato took up his sword for his son, even if that meant turning his back on the goddess. As a father, I cannot condemn Lord Lonato for raising an army. I don't blame him either. I mean, just a suspected of being involved, so killed the son with no evidence. Fuck Rhea. Seriously, I do not like Rhea. I don't trust her. Okay? Yet, perhaps he too lost sight of what should be protected. Just as I did. I don't understand what you mean. What should Lenato have protected? You, Ash. Because you are also his son. <sighs> You're right. <sighs> I think I know what I need to protect now. It's been staring me in the face all this time. I don't know why I couldn't see it. I'm Lenato's son. His pride and his wishes are my inheritance. Those are what I should protect. I see. Ash, you will be an excellent knight. It's too early to say that, but I'm willing to learn if you'll teach me. It would be my pleasure to oversee the training of a new generation. Okay, I'm gonna get Annette and Gilbert. What's wrong, Father? I didn't expect you to summon me. I carved this on a whim. I wish for you to take it, Annette. A wooden doll. You used to make these for me when I was a child. I still do it, when the mood strikes. I kind of wish I would have had this one before she lost it in the tower. This kind of messes with some time shenanigans. <laughs> it's so cute. It's... Wait. No. What do you want from me? I want nothing. I was carving and I thought of you. I remembered how happy you would be as a child when I handed one of these dolls to you. 
I carved a little wooden tiki doll one time at summer camp. Just this little a pine stump was lying there. I carved a face into it. Looked kind of evil. I burned it. It was back then. But I'm not I was like a child 13 anymore. at the time. It's too late for this now, Father. It doesn't make me happy anymore. Annette. I. I was so lonely after you left. I was always, always alone. I didn't know where you were or who to turn to for comfort. All I could do was look at the dolls you carved for me and remember you and weep. If you don't need it, you can throw it away. It is all the same in the end. I am sorry, Annette. I should have given more thought to my actions. Father, wait! No, this won't do at all. It would be better to throw this doll away. Yeah, I really should wish I would have got this support conversation before the second one with Ash. Or really the third one with Ash. You know what I mean. You are too cruel, Father. Of course I... I could never throw it away. Any more? Nope. Okay. He's up in his room. The very same night we liberated, Claude must have predicted that we'd retake it. Claude's a hard person. It's obvious, not... Sure, a bow. People were dying left and right. It was Cornelia who saved the kingdom from that dreadful illness. She was a doctor? No, I hear she was originally an imperial scholar. She was in the kingdom by my father's invitation. People praised Cornelia as a saint for ending the epidemic. But there came a day when she completely changed. Her behavior, mannerisms, likes, dislikes, everything. Despite all that, father still appointed her to a high post. But above all, yeah, I'm sure. Lord Rodrigue Marg House got these Lord, of course. I know, I asked. know. Advanced drills, axe. Sylvain's here as well. He would, however, then he. I must. I shall tell you. Lance, axe, armor, riding. He Flying. To be clean a pup. It hurt. Advanced drills. Help me with magic. I thought that our his contribution. Yes, yes. Advanced drills. Wow, you're good. A little bit of everything. Sure, axe. Okay, sure, more support. Oh, hey, Professor. Well, you're chipper as ever. Actually, I ran into that thief while I was shopping just now. The thief? Maybe you don't remember. It's been quite a while. The man who stole the book from that market stall. I saw him on the street with his kid. They were both so grateful. It's a really nice feeling. I'm glad it all worked out. Yeah, but... Uh, 
It did seem like they were still having trouble getting by. I guess what you said to me back then was right. My actions didn't really solve the problem. I can't help everyone, no matter how much I try. If I had the money or power, maybe. But I don't. You'll get there. There's no need to rush. You know, a long time ago, Lenato said nearly the same thing to me. I think it was when I tried to look after the horses all on my own. <laughs> I really messed that up. He said, you're not quite ready for this yet, but there's no need to rush. I know I can't help very many people right now, but I think doing what I can for those I see in front of me is still worthwhile. I have to believe that, at least. That's a fine way to look at it. That's just like you, Ash. <laughs> Thanks. That's reassuring to hear. What about you, Professor? Has anything been troubling you lately? I still love the Celtic rune on Violet's cloak. I'd be happy to help, as long as it's not looking after horses. <laughs> you might not want to trust me with that. I love a good dose of sarcasm. Nothing in particular has been bothering me. Why? Do I look trouble? I genuinely enjoy helping people. It's a great feeling making someone smile. So if there's anything I can do for you, I want to do it. Because I care about you. You care about me, huh? I do. It's probably because you remind me so much of Lenato. So what'll it be? How can I help? You want to help me cook? Of course. I'd be glad to cook with you. That's nice. I'm going to end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Fire Emblem Three Houses as I carry out my mission of the month. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off. I am going to stock up on more supplies, but that's all there is to it.